Hello, my name is Amy, and I'm a technical trainer and industrial designer here at CAD Dimensions. Hello, my name is Autumn. I'm a technical support person at CAD Dimensions. We want to share a few of our favorite SolidWorks 2024 enhancements for parts and features. The first enhancement I want to talk about is a new option for the Revolve Cut feature. We now have the option to check flip side to cut. This option was included for extrusions in the past, but now we have this capability on revolves too. So in the past where we would have to use a separate solid body and do a Boolean operation or make a new sketch to cut away the material outside of our closed profile, we now have the flip side to cut option. So you can see it makes modeling this turn part a lot easier and quicker by requiring fewer steps. Let's look at this part again, because another enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2024 is with the bounding box tool. Let's say this component here is turned and made out of bar stock, and we want to see what size is required for this. With the new enhancement, we can choose what type of bounding box we want. We now have the option for cylindrical as well, instead of just rectangular. We still have the option to choose a particular reference plane so we can specify the direction of the axis for our cylindrical bounding box. It shows at the top of our feature tree as you would expect and is available in your custom properties as well. Another new feature is the preview sketch dimension option, which has been added to simplify the process of defining your sketches. Instead of having to select the smart dimension tool manually to add desired lengths and angles, Simply select the sketch components you wish to define and the corresponding dimension will automatically appear in gray. You can then click on the dimension to enter the dimension editor. Select multiple features and it will give you the dimension between those two sketch components instead. Whole Wizard has received an upgrade as well. Now you have the option to select an existing 2D sketch to locate holes instead of creating a 3D sketch through the Whole Wizard itself. Under the Positions tab, select the Existing 2D Sketch option and select the sketch you wish to use. With the Create Instances on Sketch Geometry option selected, it will automatically place holes at endpoints of the selected sketch. With the Create Instances on Construction Geometry option selected, holes will be located at the endpoints of Construction Geometry as well. And even with both options turned off, it will still automatically locate holes on points specifically created using the Point tool. Additionally, regardless of the prior settings, you may always select instances to skip if you need a more specific arrangement. The next enhancement I want to talk about is an update to the linear pattern tool. Let's say we have these cutouts and we want to pattern them in both directions on our part. In the past, we would have used two directions and checked the pattern seed only option under direction two. With the new enhancement, we now have the option to check symmetric underneath direction two. This expedites the process and makes it quicker to create linear patterns with symmetry. The next enhancement deals with surface modeling. You now have the ability to exclude the parent surface as an option under the untrim feature. In earlier releases, you had to use multiple tools to achieve the acquired results. One surprising new enhancement is the Save As Previous feature. In the Save As dialog box under the Save As Type drop-down menu, you can select two new options, SOLIDWORKS 2022 part and SOLIDWORKS 2023 part. Parts saved this way will be openable in those previous versions of SOLIDWORKS. Please note that if you used any features that were introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2024, you will have to remove those before saving it as a 2022 or 2023 SOLIDWORKS part. And similarly, you will have to remove any features added in 2023 or 2024 before saving as a SOLIDWORKS 2022 part. And finally, it is now possible to create multi-body parts from assemblies. Under the Tools menu, select Make Multi-Body Part. You can create the part with any template you like. The part will open with the Make Multi-Body Part menu, where you can select any additional elements of the assembly you would like to import. Often, this is a more effective way to demonstrate the manufacturing operations involved in the process. Additionally, the connection from assembly to part is associative, so changes made to the assembly will carry over into the part created from it. Not to mention the considerably larger assortment of tools available to edit parts than to edit assemblies. Thank you for listening to our What's New 2024 presentation on parts and features.